The weekend is almost here, and there are lots of fun things to do here in Southern California. Besides that, Michael Giuliano, editor of Time Out Los Angeles, is back with some of his top picks. Thank you for being here. Of course, glad there, to be back. I, there's so much going on, but I'm starving right now, <laughs> and so I want to <laughs> kick it off with food. Well, I got good news because yes. you can go right now. I mean, maybe don't, right now, maybe don't walk out right now, like you personally, <laughs> but everyone else. There's a Taco Bell and Yeasty Boys collaboration now. I think everyone knows Taco Bell. Yes, who likes Yeasty Boys? Yeasty Boys is this like beloved local food truck. They specialize in uh, breakfast sandwiches on oh. bagels. So they're getting together this weekend for free breakfast. There's a half dozen menu items. You can only get one. Um, oh, okay. But it's like breakfast crunch wraps, quesadillas, Ooh. bagels. So I don't have to get a bagel. No, there, so there's a Oh, look, of, it, we're showing yeah. some of the video right now. There, that looks so good. Of course, there's fire sauce on some of them. Oh, um, yeah. But so there's a schedule to this, right? So, okay. so right now, from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., you'll find it in the Arts District. Okay. Tomorrow, it's in Venice and Silver Lake. Great. And then Sunday in West Hollywood and right down the road from here in Studio <gasps> City. Sunday? Sunday. What time? Uh, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. every two. day. So I've got plenty of time to yeah. get there. There will be lots of people there, though. Just a heads up. <laughs> <laughs> so plan ahead, yeah. pack your patience, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I've been seeing around town the billboards for Cirque du Soleil. Yeah. Seems to be coming back, but there's not a ton of detail on there. I need you to tell me about it. Their latest show, Corteo, is back in town. Ah. It's here at the Microsoft Theater. Uh, it just opened last night. I got to see it. It's oh, how is it? It's a ton of fun. Is it's, it? It's really beautiful, too. It's about... Um, you know, it's about the death of a clown, which sounds kind Ooh. of morose, but, um, you know, it's a Cirque show. It's fun. There's yeah. people bouncing on beds and swinging on chandeliers, and it's just lots of, like, high-flying but really artistic fun. Um, you know, if you can't see it this weekend, it's here through April, uh, the end of April, okay. and so I definitely suggest going. Tickets start at, like, $35, Oh, too. that's pretty affordable yeah. for a Cirque show, too. It's Yeah, it's a bit more reasonable than Vegas, I yeah, think. Yeah, <laughs> much more reasonable. I'm trying to think of what I paid last time for my Cirque du Soleil tickets. Um, there's some stuff going on at the Ukraine Cultural Center. Oh, yeah, what's over, happening? over uh, in East Hollywood on Melrose, they're celebrating a Pasanka Festival. Ah. Now, this is a traditional Ukrainian Easter celebration. So, uh, Pasanka, as I understand, are basically Ukrainian Easter eggs. But oh, instead of they're painting, they're beautiful. On, yeah, so instead of painting on them, they apply colorful wax to it. Yeah. So you can actually take a workshop while you're there to learn all about this. Um, plus, like peruse an arts and crafts market, try traditional Ukrainian food, see music and dance performances, uh, all for free on Sunday afternoon. So really great time. Oh, all for free. That looks fantastic yeah. and a lot of fun. What's happening at the Hammer Museum? There's so much happening at the Hammer Museum. So much. I'm actually headed there right after this. You so are. I'm really Wait, excited Wait, are you stopping at the food truck and then going <laughs> or in reverse no, order? No, it's the op opposite direction okay, today, unfortunately. Okay. But okay. yeah, so they have this massive new expansion that they're unveiling. Um, a brand new lobby, a new sculpture garden, and a new gallery. Um, oh, wow. They have this, this kind of exhibit anchoring it all um, with highlights from their contemporary collection from oh, cool. artists like John Baldessari, Mark Bradford, Lucita Hurtado. Um, but the photos you're seeing here, I think this is one of the most exciting things. Yeah, it's what from, is it? It's it called looks really Particles, cool. I believe. It's from this artist, Rita McBride. Wow. It is a ring of high intensity green laser beams Ooh. Um, that will be firing basically all the time in the lobby. Now, the museum's totally free, as it has been. Um, but, you know, if you go to visit the museum, you can see it there. But even at night, um, you know, they'll lift the shades and you'll be able to see it from Wilshire, which oh, is very Oh, that's fun. cool. Uh, and all of this opens on Sunday, I should say. It opens on Sunday. It looks so futuristic. It really does. I'm excited to see it myself. I can't wait to see all the Instagram photos. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for better or worse, yes. <laughs> thank you, Michael, and thank you for being here. Uh, for more information on all the events we just talked about, check out our website, kcalnews.com. Click Scene on TV.